Hello everyone! I am so excited to share with you all a simple way to create a rustic fall centerpiece for your home. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already know that hashtag Pumpkinpalooza has already hit my home and you've already seen sneak peeks of this beauty on my Instagram stories and feed. I don't know about you, but when I see the sight of pumpkins, pine cones, and fall greenery, I get inspired to create something special for my home. In this video, I will show you how to use different textures in pine cones and in greenery. I will also use various size pumpkins in different colors to help you create this beautiful piece for your home. Are you ready? Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is source that perfect rustic dough bowl that will hold all of your fall goodness. You can find these on Amazon and on Etsy. This year, I sourced this beautiful bowl from a seller by the name of Rancho Adobe on Etsy. I adore the craftsmanship of this wooden bowl, and since it measures 28 inches in length, it was a perfect fit for my kitchen table. Now it's time to gather all of your supplies. Are you ready? I decided to use some neutral color pumpkins. These are the stone pumpkins by the Ashland Collection at Michael's. Of course, you have to add in some flocked lamb's ears and large scale pine cones. Now it's time to decorate. Are you ready? Let's begin to add our pumpkins. Randomly place those pumpkins as easy as one, two, three. Once you have your pumpkins placed, go ahead and readjust them because during this project, you will move them around to create a little bit more depth with these beautiful pumpkins. Now it's time to move on to step two. Grab those pine cones and let's move on. The pine cones I am using are from Michaels and no, this is not a sponsor post. I just happen to love shopping there because I could find all of my fall home decor resources all in one spot. Now what you will notice is that I will be placing these pine cones, some at the bottom and then building some on top just to create the nice depth and texture for this bowl. Once you get that started, then go ahead and begin to randomly place those pumpkins in other areas of your bowl. For this project, I used about a bag and a half to create the look I want. So be creative and have fun. Now that we have those pine cones in place, let's get ready to move on to the final step, adding greenery. The greenery I use from this product are called flocked lamb's ear. In this project, I used about six to eight sprigs. The name of the game is to place them randomly. You will notice me starting from the centers and moving my way around the dough bowl. As you see, I am adding more greenery to the center piece. Now I'm going to continue to add them and place them under the pine cones and then also place it under the, the pumpkin. The feeling or look I am trying to create is a sense of these flocked lamb's ears growing from underneath these beautiful pieces. Now I'm moving on to the other side and I'm simply mirroring everything I did on the left to the right. Once you have your greenery in place, I highly recommend to go back and fluff and arrange the stems, the pumpkins, the pine cones to your liking. For me, some of my pumpkins have fallen deep down to the dish and I really want them to be seen. So I am going back and just styling the arrangement to my liking.
Okay friends, I think the styling is complete and we should call the centerpiece done. I hope you all enjoyed watching me as I created this beautiful piece for our home and I hope you all give it a try as well. Again, this is a perfect neutral centerpiece to have as you begin to host those yummy dinners with your friends and family. I hope you all enjoyed this quick tutorial and if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up leave me some feedback below, and visit me over at ChicHomeLife.com. And as always, thank you all for watching.